In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the 12 months project timeline slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put all the months starting from January till December. And then at the uh, row level, you can add the, the phases of the project or you can add your tasks here. So I've added eight tasks or eight phases here. And then with a different color combination, I have put the timeline where you can add some detailed text here. So you can see here the phase one starts uh, from January uh, till June. And then the phase two starts from April till July like that. You can just place according to your requirement and this is super easy to do it and you can just change the direction or change the months according to your needs and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section I have used Office 2019 version to do this however with the older version also it's possible so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light grey color background. Go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I am going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle. This much uh, size. Okay. If you want you can just increase it also. And then you can see the small orange point. Just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved shaped. And the height I am going to make it as 0.4. Alright. And shape outline you can give any gray color outline and shape fill you can use some light color uh, fill here then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and just drag and drop it here you can see here three four five six seven and eight and you can see here the gap between these objects are not equal so i'm just going to select all the objects go to the shape format align and i'm going to select distribute vertically so equal shape is uh, added between this one okay so once this is done i'm going to select the alternate rows okay and then by holding the shift key then shape fill you can choose some light color so the color combination of dark and light then i'm going to insert one line here okay insert one line till here and this shape outline i'm going to give some gray color and the dashes i'm just going to give some dotted line like this all right and then here at the top i'm going to add one more uh, the same shape so by pressing ctrl d i got duplicated this one and i'm going to reduce the width okay maybe this much and i'm going to put it here exactly in the center and here i'm just going to add the text which is the month so i'm just going to say starting with january center align reduce the size to 12 okay and i'm going to put exactly in the center then i'm going to select this one as well as this line and press ctrl g to group it then hold the ctrl shift key together and drag and drop so this is february the third month now fourth fifth and sixth so in the same thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy all this six months here all right and then what you need to do is you need to just select all those this the top objects only then go to the shape format align and i'm going to say distribute horizontally all right and if you want you can just move it a little bit here clear and then this area where you're going to type your uh, the project as a uh, kind of uh, faces here okay so let me just go to insert text box and i'm going to say face one reduce the size maybe to 14 put it here hold the control shift key together and then just drag and drop it here all right so you can see here and later on if there's any alignment issue we can do it manually not a problem for that yeah so then i'm just going to change to this is phase two phase three phase four or you can put your tasks also here so you can just enter that one now once this is done what we need to do is we need to put the timelines for example phase one 
the timeline should be from say January to February or March like that and here also we need to change this one so this is Feb March April so I've changed all the months now I am going to add the timeline so I'm just going to select this one press ctrl D to duplicate all right you can see here and then I'm just going to give some a uh, different color combination so right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill so here you need to add two stop so any color you can see here I would like to use this color combination all right and then you can just reduce the width and then I'm just going to put say this is starting from uh, January and for this also make sure that no outline is there okay so January say till March like this okay now I'm just going to duplicate this one press ctrl D to duplicate and this starts from say March till June again duplicate this will start from say April to July like that you can just play place these objects at this junction like this you can see here and this one will start say till here and again duplicate the slide and this one I'm just going to put it here and I'm just going to reduce it like this all right so depending on your requirement you can just place it wherever you want and then this is the last one okay now if you want to keep one color if you want to keep multiple color it's up to you for example again if you want to change some different color combination i'm going to use say a light color combination with a dark color combination like that color combination you can just choose and again depending on your requirement you can just move this one example if it is starting from from this june to say september you can move it or you can just change it according to the a requirement and then you can add some detailed text here go to insert text box text here reduce the font size center align and I'm going to put it here if you don't have space here you can add the text outside also press ctrl D to duplicate like this you can just add the text one by one in the center and then depending on the requirement you can just change the text according to the needs all right so you can see here just duplicate this one and put it here and then here also okay and then at the top you can add some title here 